Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Oh, there you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! Yes, I've been looking everywhere around the hotel. I even checked Cannibal Town. You are quite elusive. Yes, well, I was looking for you because, well, I do need you for something. Something very important. It's, um, business, rather, than personal stuff. Follow me, if you'd like. So, human, I know you like it down here, but why did you decide to not take the right choice of going back to Earth, where all your family is? Mm-hmm. I see. So, most of your family isn't really living right now, are they? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't seen some of them down here. Ha ha ha! But I digress. We're not here to talk about your family matters. We are here for my matters, as of right now at least. You see, the last time that Lucifer was here, I did tell you about this little apple tree that was growing in the back of the hotel. Mostly where the dining room is, last time I remember. Yes, it's grown right through the floor and into the ceiling. It's a rather strong-looking oak tree as well. And besides, the apples growing on it are not red. They're rather golden and shimmering at that matter. Did you have any idea of why this tree was growing in the hotel? Did you have any idea that Lucifer planted it? Hmm, of course not, of course not. Interesting. Well, I did pick one of these apples, and, well, the feeling of it was kind of uh, tingly in my hand. You see, I haven't felt this type of magic before in my life. It seems rather not damnedish, but rather holy. I think what happened is that Lucifer took one of his apples that were up in wherever he was, took one of the seeds from the tree or one of the fruits that were fallen off the tree and snuck it down into hell before he was banished. And when the uh, hotel went down in rubble from that last fight with heaven, he rebuilt the hotel with everyone here and in secret he planted the tree, not knowing it would be growing at a rapid pace. Yes, I do see this. And these apples, feeling its energy just by holding it, I think these can contain quite a lot of holy magic. And I did notice that you travel through rings quite quickly. So tell me, Hell's Wanderer, did you so happen to eat one of these apples? You don't have to lie to me. I just want to know the truth. I already know you made a deal with Lucifer. Not for your soul, obviously. Simple 
protection. Because of the whistle, I do remember you did show me it down in the Wrath Ring, where it's very hard for other demons to visit, especially if they don't have any type of magic that can protect them to go through all the rings. That's what I thought. So, these apples do have some holy magic inside of them. Hmm. That is very, very interesting. Mind if I. Here we are. So Lucifer only gave you one of these apples to eat, correct? Did you eat all of the apple he gave you? Hmm, you did. All right. Have another. Oh, don't be so shy about eating an apple. Everyone must love eating their fruits. Well. Not everybody, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Why don't you have another apple, human? <laughs> What's another apple going to do? After all, you are still living. I don't think it'll do much to you. What's that? You feel a little tingly? Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, if you're not going to finish it, then, well, it would be a first time for me to try one. But I wouldn't mind. <laughs> All right. Here. I won't eat it. But. You know where this tree is, and well, you do have the fruit, and you're still eating this apple that I gave you from this tree. So, just know, if you want more power, you could eat all of the apples that grow from this tree, and you could might even be at the same level as Lucifer. Doesn't that sound fun? Well, I think that'd be a great idea. I mean, after all, you did make a contract with him. Why not even the playing field just a little bit? You can summon the great Lucifer Morningstar at the blink of an eye, just with a little blow of a whistle. Why not have a little bit more of his power built into your own body? I think it would be pretty helpful, especially for a live being that's inside a world of damned creatures and all sorts of demons and whatnot. Yes, I'm pretty sure that most of the things down here would detect holy magic, but since you're human, I think it negates that. I think that you, Hell's Wanderer, human, are our greatest thing that to ever happened down here. See, for a long time. Heaven has been quite a bothersome thing with hell here, with the whole exterminations going on and whatnot. But I think that you, having similar power to Lucifer Morningstar, would help us in that battle. The last time we fought them off, we lost a few, especially Sir Pentius. Rest his soul. But with you on our side, with the same powers of Hell's King, I think if the next extermination happens, we will be ready, 
especially with you on our side. Mm hmm. And I do know that you have a meeting with God as well. I only know that because Charlie can't control her levels of when she speaks. She's a very loud talker, you know. So, as long as no one knows that you ate a second apple, I don't see any harm with it. And plus, if you get a little tussle, with God himself, you'll be able to hold yourself up a little bit. Not by a lot, because, well, it's God. But I digress. You enjoy your little snack there, good old friend. I have important business to do now. I have a radio show I have to host, after all. <laughs> you take care, Hell's Wanderer. I'll be seeing you very, very soon. <laughs>